Good afternoon, Rock Church. Happy Wednesday. It's time for the midweek update. And I just want to start off at the beginning here and just say from my family to your families out there, Merry Christmas. And I just pray that each and every one of you are just going to have a blessed and outstanding Christmas this year. I know this past year, uh, the Rock Church has been very blessed. I know my family and a lot of you families out there in the church, I know I've heard stories about how y'all have been so blessed. And it's just, it's so exciting to hear how God is moving in the lives of people uh, in this church and in our community and in the other churches and in other ministries and just in the community in general. It's just, it's exciting. So Merry Christmas to you all. And I look forward to when we all get back together uh, after Christmas. All right, let's get on with the announcements. First thing up uh, tonight at seven o'clock, we have our midweek Bible study. Uh, that Bible study, like I said, starts at seven o'clock. Uh, this is the final session on our Radical with David Platt study. And this one here, we're going to be talking about God, our Radical God. And I know a lot of times our world, that's how he sit, that's how they look at God, that he's pretty radical because of the way he loves us and the way he sent his own son to be born in a manger to grow up. And he went to the cross and died for us, but was resurrected. And that is pretty radical. It's pretty extreme. But we know, as being followers of Jesus Christ, it's because of the sacrificial love that he has for me and he has for you. So remember that. Remember that this Christmas. And then come on out tonight and let's wrap up this, uh, this Bible study, this radical Bible study together. Uh, it's going to be great. And if you have not went back and picked up on the other sessions, please do, because this study is very in-depth on how we need to be living our lives as followers of Jesus Christ. So go back and follow those other uh, studies. You can pick them up on YouTube or you can pick them up on our Facebook page. Either, either way, just look for the Rock Church, Rock Church in King, North Carolina. Okay, and then this weekend, uh, the way things are going to work this weekend, we are not having a live service Sunday morning here at the church. We are doing a pre-recorded message that message will be available for you to sit down and watch with your families on Sunday morning or Sunday evening, just whichever way works best for you. But it's going to be an outstanding message, and we're going to be talking about why Jesus was born in a manger. You know, that's, that's something to really think about. Our King of kings and Lord of lords was laid in a manger. So think about that. And then tune in Sunday as we bring that message on the birth of Jesus Christ, who is the wonder of Christmas. So no service right here at the church on Sunday morning. We're going to do a pre-recorded message that will be out there Sunday morning for you to take, for, uh, for you to take a look at uh, with your families, with your friends, or whoever you choose to invite. So enjoy your families, enjoy your friends uh, on Sunday, and that's what we want to give the opportunity to do, to be, you to be able to spend time with your your loved ones on Sunday. All right, and then next week, Monday night, there will be no prayer night. Wednesday night, no Bible study. Uh, we'll come back together on New Year's Eve at 7 o'clock right here at the Rock Church. Uh, we're planning on starting the evening off in the worship center. We're going to come together for a time of worship. We're going to come together for some testimony and then a short message. And then the rest of the evening, we're going to just kind of spend time uh, hanging out with each other. We're asking everybody to bring a covered dish or finger foods to share. And we'll just spend time in that fellowship playing games or you know, just talking. You know, maybe just you just want to hang out and talk or shoot basketball or cornhole, whatever you feel led to do. Uh, it's going to be a fun evening. Nine o'clock, I believe we'll probably come together somewhere around that time and do what they call it. I think it's a Chinese New Year. Uh, that's going to be for people that are wanting to break away to go ahead and get kids home and get them to bed. So we'll do like a little early celebration, and then the rest of us will stay. And at 1130, we'll come back together right here in the worship center. We're going to gather around the altar, and then we're going to pray 2022 out, and we're going to pray 2023 in. And what better way to close out a year and start a new year than be on our knees before our Father in heaven? You know, humble ourselves before him. Because he's done some great things this past year. 
here at the Rock Church, and I know beyond a shadow of a doubt there's greater things yet to come in 2023. So get ready. It's going to be a great and outstanding year, church. So fasten your seatbelts and get ready to see what God's going to do in your life and in the lives of people in this church and in this community. Amen. Church, I love you. I am praying for you. And I look forward to seeing you tonight.